Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And as you may have noticed from the title and thumbnail, I got another new something. But before I show you what that is, we have some work to do. I want to fix this bearing on the 252 disc that bailed me out when my uh, two big tractors were down. And it worked pretty well flawlessly, except this front bearing finally went out. So I want to swap that out before I park it out there. Uh, so that in theory, it's ready to go the next time it needs to bail me out. So I started on this the other day, but it's been so hot here uh, and humid that it's kind of miserable to work outside. So I've been kind of selective in what I've been doing. But we'll go ahead and finish this up the thing about oliver discs compared to other brands if you've never seen one is they use a round axle which i don't know that there's an advantage to that it's kind of unhandy from the fact that this end piece is the only way you can hold it from turning while you're trying to break the nut loose whereas if you have a square axle disc you can clamp a big pipe wrench on one of the spools. That's what we did for years with our other brand of disc, but this disc cuts a lot better, so I'll forgive it for having this issue. Sometimes, and I bet it won't be this time, you can get by with not having to take the scraper off, but I think it's going to be just, just too much. Maybe if I put the camera down, I can get it. We'll see if I can wiggle it out of there. Just enough. That's just one more thing, then you don't have to take loose. There we go. You can't always do that, but sometimes you can. And hopefully, this piece didn't get wore too badly. It looks kind of badly, doesn't it? But it might be. <laughs> it ate into it a little bit, but it might still be enough that we can save it. We're going to have to check the... No, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to put washers or something in there to take up that space because it's going to rub the center of this bearing, which I think is the right bearing. I need to double check that. I don't know. I had this bearing laying in my disc toolbox, so I need to see if this for sure is what we want. It slides on there, and it looks close, so in theory, that ought to be what we want, but uh, we're going to definitely have to do something about that. I have some more of this stuff, so I might look through and see if I can find it. Maybe there's a better one and save this for an emergency. I'll probably go do that real quick. Okay, here's what I found. It appears to be good. I bought some Oliver disc parts, Oliver disc parts, off of auction time about a year ago, so they might finally be coming in handy. We'll see about how easy this is. But I see another problem that's going to happen. I have to take... Uh, I need to just leave that part way on because I'm going to have to take up higher loose because you won't be able to get the bearing on the back side the way the flanges are. So, unfortunately, it's more than just three bolts. And I'm going to need more tools, I can see now. I do not have enough because, hey, why not? Why not need more stuff? I need a wrench to hold those. I need a 15 16 wrench to take the top loose. Okay, let's get everything broke loose. And then... This is one of those jobs that if you farm you've done this many times and I could 
probably about do it in my sleep. I haven't had to do it for a long time on this disc because I've switched to that other one. But today's the day. Oh, how nice. That came right loose. Some of these had fine threaded bolts on them. This one might have been replaced. They don't look very good, but hey. Gonna come loose, sure. There we go. There's a fine bit of bolt. There we go. Oh, it appears like I tried to get more for my money out of this once before as it's already been wore and flipped to another side. So, I suppose I should check and see if I have more flanges. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do for the other disc. I'm not sure if these are the same. I'll just have to look. So let me go look at that real quick, and then we'll try to put it together. If not, I guess we'll just put it back like it is. Well, these are used, and not much better. I think they are better, so I'm going to go with it. Let's see here. What kind of situation we'll get ourselves into. There's no use in taking that apart because it's junk. All of this fit some way or another. I just passing wind in the breeze. Let's see here. Let's get this off of there. This is supposed to have carriage bolts in this bearing retainer, but for some reason I don't have that. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I didn't have them at the time. Which, that's fine. We're not using it every day, so... Something to put on our list to order. To have on hand. Because I do need to fix some bearings on the 272 disc, so... Let's see here. I'm going to have to find another one of those for the bottom. Let me go do that. Okay. I think we're in business now. Let's see if we can get this in here. There's just enough room for the impact. Still good, everything's still turnable. Now we'll switch gears here to the bolts and the bearing flange. Yeah. wedged in there. Good. That looks good. Put this piece on. We'll see if we can wiggle this back on here. Looks pretty good. We put our end piece on. Our end piece is getting kind of war, but 
it'll work. You got this plate, which you can hammer over to keep your nut from coming loose. I'm going to put one new nut and one old nut on it, I think. And then again, I might change my mind when I find out that's difficult. I might change my mind. Why is that being so difficult? I didn't destroy anything taking it off. Well, that's about baloney. This is going to be it. Sadly, I do not have an impact socket this size, but I have this big pin, which is exactly the right size. So we'll go with that, because that way it's more work, see? Just got to remember to make sure that stays in the groove and get closer. We're a good ways away from that. So. Oh, good grief! Slightly, slightly messed up. Come on, baby. It's torque to fat man specs, so I think it'll probably work. Now, I like to put a second one on. Just to help lock everything in place. There we go. 
Now, last order of business, bending these tabs over. I hope we don't have any more bearings out, but no, we don't. Usually, if I have to take them apart, I'll put the oldest bearing to the outside so that it, the next time that a bearing goes out, in theory, it'll be the one right on the end. And that is what happened in this case, I believe. So that's fixed. It's ready to go unhook and put away. And then we can show you what I got. All right, if you guessed another plow, you were right. This is a two bottom 3241. And since we put that other one back to three bottom, I thought it'd be nice to have another two bottom. So this one is in pretty excellent shape, really, with the cultures and everything. And uh, I need to do some checking around because it appears to me that this has some red paint on it. And I'm not sure, it seems like I've heard of there being some of these that were red before. So I'll have to check into that. But it is a 3241 because of the way that the coulter is mounted up front on this bracket. But really an excellent shape plow. The only thing wrong I've found is this brace from the land side to the moldboard is bent. But I have extras of those off of a plow that I've parted out. So I should be able to just switch that. And if not, that's not going to be that hard to bend back the way it's supposed to be. But anyway, that's one more to add to the collection that uh, I have a two and three bottom now of this type of plow. So just kind of neat. You can really see on this culture the red paint. So I don't know, maybe this one was sold as a Ford, but it seems like I heard of at the tail end, like when white bought them, that some of these were made red, but that seems kind of far-fetched to me. I don't know that uh, they weren't already on to the next style that had the different style hitch, but basically the same uh, frame. If you know, you can put it in the comments. So 3241 plow coming here to live at its forever home. Remember, if you like Oliver and White videos, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss whatever comes next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.